Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Iowa State Cyclones Dynasty Mode here in NCAA Basketball 10. We will be taking on the New Orleans Pirateers from the Sun Belt Conference and the Puerto Rico Tip-Off Tournament. We have traveled a very long ways from Iowa all the way to Puerto Rico for today's game. And today's game is going to be broadcasted by ESPN. And your starting lineups is as follows. We have Hatch, Callaway, Finney, Pope, and Gilliam for New Orleans. And for the Iowa State Cyclones, we have the same five as always. Porter, Terrell, Mahoney. Abrams and Singleton. We're not going to waste any more time after I write. There we go. After I adjust the camera to where you guys can see the whole thing. And we're going to get into the game against New Orleans and Puerto Rico. Mark. 
that's a guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. For the bucket, he gets the shot to fall. Up. 
would like to say if you missed our last episode, we defeated Montana State 79 to 57. We are a perfect 5 and 0 so far on the season. We get ready to bounce back into action here. Moving it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Looks at the three. He sinks another basket. What are you going to do with this guy, Nick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Up for two. That's good. Who will win the battle of tempos here tonight? That's what we want to know right now. Well, Brad, controlling the tempo can be very difficult, especially for the entire game. But if you stick with your strengths and make changes when needed, winning becomes a lot easier.
Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. remaining on the game clock. Trying to feed the low block. Great shot block right there. Hit some good movement on the offensive side. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The Cyclones here running their zone offense. Boy, I'll tell you what, Matt. The zone motion offense creates a lot of opportunities if you get ball movement and player movement. If you get people to step into the gaps of the zone and reverse the ball, you'll get good shots.
shot this trip. He shoots from the corner. Scores it. but so is his coach. Sure. 
job of positioning here. Not enough, Brad. They're getting toasted on every turn. On the outside, he attempts the trifecta. Nails the jumper. He just can't escape the pressure. Well done. Great trap. That's a foul. See the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. From the out of the eye. Doesn't go. And a slam. We're at the seven-minute mark. Looking for a good shot. Nice fake. Kicks it out. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. Gilliam handles the pass. Coach about to change up the lineup here. Has just gotten in his head. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man. You bounce right off the floor. Game it up. Here comes a pick. Hey, ball screens are such an important part of the game these days. Guys are so creative when it comes to using that ball screen. We're at the six-minute mark. tempos here tonight. That's what we want to know right now. Dave. Well, Brad, controlling the tempo can be very difficult, especially for the entire game. But if you stick with your strengths, you make changes when needed, winning becomes a lot easier. The Cyclones in attack mode. executed a game plan and ended up on top. How about this State Farm moment brought to us from our good friends at State Farm. For two, it's good. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He tries the three. attack now in transition for the bucket gets it to fall Junior, hey, I'll tell you, juniors and seniors are valuable pieces. 
pieces in any college basketball puzzle. Having experienced kids like this on the court and on the bench can take a lot of pressure off the coaching staff. First shot, good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win.
laid it on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. performances here tonight. Just some special, special young men. Here's a look at our main stars, our players of the game. I tell you, being recognized as the player of the game is a great accomplishment for this young guy. However, getting the W is much better. All right. Iowa State completely dominates New Orleans in the first round. Of the Puerto Rico tip off tournament by, by a score of 89 to 51. And we're gonna go to the next game of the Puerto Rico tip off tournament, which is gonna be against the Oakland Grizzly Bear, Gr Golden Grizzlies from the Summit Conference. So that is our next game is against Oakland. Let's look at the preseason bracket and see what's happening. We are facing Oakland University in the next round. The two bottoms that have advanced is the U uh, SCU and UWM have advanced. We have DePaul and New Orleans in the semifinals of the of the consolation round. And Arizona State and Yale, I do believe. Alright, we are now 6-0 on the year. Let's go check the conference standings. Uh, Baylor is two and three. Iowa State is six and zero. Oh. Oklahoma two and two. Nebraska two and two. Missouri three and two. Texas Tech three and one. Texas A and M two and zero. Oh. Texas two and zero. Oh. Oklahoma State is four and one. Kansas State is two and one. Kansas four and zero. Oh. Colorado is one and two. All right. Well, that does it for today. We take on Oakland in the next round of the Puerto Rico tip-off tournament in the semifinals. We are one game away from reaching the championship. And we will see you back in Puerto Rico soon. Y'all have a great night.